Hello and welcome to this video. As you can see, I've got an animation of a very simple tensile structure that I made in Blender. So I'm going to show you how I made this and uh, it's really easy. First thing we're going to do is open up Blender and we're going to delete the default cube. So we just select it, press X, press Shift A, and we're going to add a simple mesh circle. And when you add an object, you can see this option in the bottom left hand corner. And this is where you can make some changes. So I'm going to change this to just 10 sides. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to add a face by pressing F on my keyboard. Once I've done that, I'm going to select every other vertice going around the outside edge of the circle. Once I've done that, I'm going to use G on my keyboard to move these vertices up. I'm going to press Z as well to make sure that they go perfectly vertical. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come out of edit mode. I'm going to go into object mode and I'm going to add a modifier. So, and the modifier I'm going to choose is sub subdivision surface. And you can see what that does. I'm going to turn up the viewport levels to four. I'm also going to right click and press shade smooth. So we've got a nice smooth shape. To get this so that um, the fabric or the material is going to go all the way to each of the corners, I need to select all the vertices by pressing A and then go to vertex and vertex crease. And all you have to do is move your cursor across the screen to increase the amount of crease. There we go. An extra detail is the wireframe modifier. So I'm going to go back into object mode. And I'm going to add that modifier as well. So wireframe. And you can see what wireframe does. So I'm going to increase the thickness. Actually, I need to uh, make this more fine. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.005. And then if you increase the viewport levels in the subdivision modifier, you can see that you get a finer mesh and this gives us our tensile structure really simple you can continue to move points around and uh, this is the end result so you can see i've added a few um, cylinders just to create struts which would be pulling the fabric and this is something that you could easily replicate into a scaled model uh, that would create the same sort of effect a simple process. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.